so much more careful than yeah, after the second baby, experience. and I'm not listening to her anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm. I'm yeah. a, that also an old uh, wives' tale. You not, can't get pregnant when nursing. That's not true. Congratulations, baby number three. So, what's it like having three under three? What's been the most surprising, most challenging part? It's chaotic. <laughs> Some, some people, like I remember when I was pregnant, it was like a 50-50 draw. Some people said, oh, it's it's totally easy. Like going from one to two is harder. Two to three, it's like nothing. You already have multiples. And some people are like, it's the hardest thing, but it's so worth it. Yeah, we'll go with the second one. I think <laughs> the second one is more, uh, more real. Are you getting any sleep? We, some, I mean, yeah, we share sleep. Like some nights I get the sleep, some nights she gets the sleep. Mostly he gets the sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, mostly I do get the sleep. It's true. How she have the boys, oh, sorry, God. She doesn't utilize the hours that I give her. She prefers to just watch some shows, I 90 Day Fiance. I don't have a and talent. Things like that. Unlike my very talented husband who can fall asleep standing up, it takes me some time to kind of calm yeah. down. And and I need to go to work early in the morning, so I have to sleep during certain hours. I can just sleep, you know, in the morning. Right. Well, it's hard when you have like those little pockets of like time to yourself. You're like, I just want to like feel like a normal person and watch TV and like yeah. do, and like feel like myself again. I totally get that. How are the boys adjusting to having a, a new baby? I think the boys are doing great. I think they are both very jealous at the same time, but... Uh, you know, Shy, he just wants to help. Like, hi, Ari, I'm Shy, I'm Shy. But Asher, on the other hand, thinks she's a toy or like food. Yes, <laughs> like I mean, they love it. They love to get all together. But if you hold Ari and one of them is, I don't know what, eating his favorite meal, he sees me pick her up, he goes to me. No matter what he's doing. Not wailing, but he just comes. He, he wants to be in it. He's not, he's not, I'm not allowed to be just with Ari. Right. Yeah, no, I'm sure the jealousy takes over uh, real, real, real quick. I know you didn't find out the sex before the baby. I know that we see the first episode, you go and do the crystals and things like that. So maybe you had an idea that it was going to be a girl, but were you shocked when it, when um, Ari was a girl? I truly was shocked because so when you're like having a C-section, you obviously can't see anything and there's a lot of commotion and like people are talking and you hear this baby cry and I heard everybody started cheering and I was like, what is it? What is it? I, I feel like <laughs> at the beginning with the crystals and whatnot, we kind of thought it's a girl. I was hoping. And then throughout like the pregnancy, we started thinking that it's a boy again. I don't know, we, we changed our our feeling. That's why you always go with your first instinct. Yeah, and then in the end, it was our first instinct. Definitely. With this pregnancy, you know, obviously, because you were carrying a girl, was it different than your other pregnancies? This pregnancy was definitely different, but with the boys, I thought based on like the old wives' tales, I thought I was having girls. So I was thinking, maybe this is how it's supposed to feel for a boy. Like I really started getting in my head mm -hmm. and I, ha I, we had no idea what that we were having. It's so funny. Yeah, those old wives tales, cause I was like not sick at all with my girl. And then when I had my boy, I was sick. And I'm like, I thought it was the opposite. Right. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. all uh, BS. You know? Everyone's professional at that, yeah. I am a professional <laughs> at this point. Excuse me. <laughs> I am. I love it. Um, was this, was your labor and delivery? I know you were high risk. So was this labor and delivery easier than you thought it was going to be? Was it more difficult? It was just different. Mm -hmm. It was a C-section, but it was different, but you'll have to. It has to be a C-section, but it was not easy. You'll right? have to just like tune in to see. Yeah. How are you feeling postpartum this time around? Um, is it more challenging now that you, obviously you have to run after two toddlers um, and you right. just have the C-section, you're recovering. So with, how is this different? Honestly, if you saw me and didn't know that I just had a baby, you'd be like, wait, you just had a baby because I'm run running around, I'm carrying the kids. I've been very open about my postpartum on social media because selfishly it's helping me. I've had a very hard time 
not physically. Physically, I bounced back great. I'm loving it. <laughs> Met the boys, whoop, what they did to me. Mentally, though, it's definitely been a challenge. So I've been very open about it because not only am I helping other people, selfishly, I'm helping myself because I can only bitch to him for so much about my hormones. And now he's just like, oh, she's crying. Let, let her cry it out. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, have you definitely noticed like um, having a bit more postpartum this time around then? Definitely. It's it. And people say it's because it's a girl. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's because she thinks that's it. This is <laughs> it. <laughs> You say think. So, um, Alex, you're still kind of open to, you know, possibly baby number four? I mean, open, yes. But at this point, it's a no. At this point, it's a no. Forever and now. But, but no. mentally, you know, mentally, we're, we're, no. it's it's different for her, I think, because she's like, okay, that's it. And so. I'm finally back in, like, my own clothes. Mm -hmm. And I feel good. And, like, I just get to walk past the maternity mm -hmm. department. And not have to look at like floral dresses and be like, oh, maybe this will fit. Right. Well, I'm sure, you know, it's been, you know, over three years that you've been pregnant pretty much. Like your body hasn't had time to recover at all. So I'm sure you're like, I do not want to have a baby bump anymore for a really long time. It's so true. Like the doctor even said, he said, you have to give yourself time. You've been pregnant for a very long time. So I had a doctor's <laughs> note to Alex to just let me cry it out. And I do, I go in the shower and I cry it out. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, have were you nervous again? Cause obviously you got pregnant so soon after your second, were you nervous after this uh, pregnancy? You're like, we are not getting pregnant again so easily. Like, <laughs> yeah, Again, you'll have to tune in to see because it was very different towards the no, end. But right now is what you mean. Are oh, we careful? Yes, we're much more careful than yeah, after the second baby. Experience. And I'm not listening to her anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm yeah. uh, that's also an old uh, wives tale. You not, can't get pregnant when nursing. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. Um, you know, in the trailer for this season, you know, you do tease that Alex may get a vasectomy. Is that def something that you maybe are considering? <laughs> oh well, my well, God. Well. I want to have him get, because he can get it undone. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, women can't tie that thing. The teaser, I don't know what uh, what, what, what happened there. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, don't limit yourself. He said. Exactly, I don't want to limit myself, and am I gonna let nobody limit me? <laughs> um, is there anything that you miss about being pregnant? Yeah, I miss feeling the kicks inside. That's the thing. The baby blues are very hard because in my mind, this is it. Mm -hmm. In his mm -hmm. mind, maybe not, but. Um, I miss the kicks. I don't miss being pregnant and hot and heavy and like five chins now I'm down to two. But I miss also like everybody making a big deal out of me. I know that's such a snobby thing to say, but every woman will say that they're like, oh my God, I love people making a big deal out of me. And like the best of everything. It is what it is. It's just so true. It's so true. Um, yeah, I know you said before, you know, you're dealing with, you know, the the terrible two stage, going into that three major stage. <laughs> I mean, how are you kind of, um, you know, working that out and what's been the toughest part for you for that? And the terrible two. So we have a terrible two, a uh, wild and out 15 months and then a three month and I got my first gray hair. Well, I got a few already. I got a few over here. So we're comparing gray hairs. Yeah. That's where we are in our lives, comparing our gray hairs. <laughs> as long as they do, it's okay. But well, they, why do you say that? Because they gray hairs don't fall out. I heard for my. Oh, man. interesting. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, the sh shy is, is is a little bit difficult. He's too smart and He's too manipulative. So cute. He's too manipulative, and so. And uh, she over here doesn't get it that well, you know? No, the thing is, is he has me wrapped around every finger. And he, he doesn't knows get it. it. He, he, knows he thinks he's really suffering and he stuff. He knows but it. But then, but then when you ask him, are you a mama's boy or an office boy? And he says, mama's boy. It's like, he okay, yes, boy. I'm forever your servant. But right. <laughs> <laughs> I will do anything you ask. <laughs> I will bend over, contortion myself into whatever way you need because you said that. I love that. That is so 
funny. Um, you know, it, how, how are you guys keeping the romance alive with, you know, so much going on? Has it put a strain on your relationship at all? Because obviously you guys are pulled in so many different directions or has this brought you closer together because, you know, you're working together as a team? Well, we've opted to not go down the tequila route because last time we did that, we ended up with Ari. So we are going down the seltzer route. Yes, so a good seltzers. time, a great time. I will say we've been obviously been more intimate the last few months than we have in the last four years. In the last months or so, we're getting back there. But, <laughs> but before, yeah, it was a little bit- uh, Barely moved. String, string whoo-ish, huh? Putting a string on it, stringish. Let's do how you can, no. whatever, it was a, it was a little bit uh, non-existent difficult yeah well I, you guys are one of the longest and strongest standing 90-day couples so what i mean what do you think your secret is mm. i i think i actually think we talk too much i mm. i was talking to my girlfriend about this we give each other our play-by-play -play throughout the entire date so then when he comes home he's like all right, I talk to you all day. <laughs> We're gonna conquer and div divide and conquer the children, and you know, I don't know communication. We talk mm -hmm. about it. we don't hide anything. We talk about everything. Right. Yeah. And we're like committed to each other. We have three kids. And we have three kids. Like there was no, there's no time for. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. No Even when we fight now, and like we got into a huge argument. Big Two minutes after that, you have to take care of the baby. Right. You have to work together. And That's it. it. Like it's not something you now start. <laughs> you know, you don't have the the, the luxury of, of slamming the door and going in the other room because then one follows you, <laughs> or one screams "Abba," and you're like, "Ugh." There's well, no I have luxury to of, him. of fighting anymore. We need each other. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's no hiding anymore. Um, Lauren, like you said, you know, you're very open um, on social media again about your like your post baby body journey. Do you have a goal in mind? or are you just kind of doing what feels best for you? I am working towards a goal. Um, I'm just like trying, I don't want to like rush it. I'm doing it healthy. They say slow and steady wins the race, but I'm looking at more of a lifestyle change than dieting and working out. Like I, because again, we're done having kids, so I can focus on me. Um, I want to do like a lifestyle change though. So. I think that's great. I think that's great. You know, obviously a big, what seems like a big storyline this season is the kind of tension between uh, you and your parents about possibly moving. I mean, how did that put a strain on your relationship? And, you know, were you expecting that, that type of reaction from them? I actually think it made us stronger, but, you know, we are each other's family now. So we will always stand by each other's side. Yeah. Is the move definitely happening or something you're still considering? It's uh, it's it's in the air. Well, you have to you have to see. You have to wait and see. Yeah. Um, what can you tease about your dad? I, I saw in the in this in the trailer your dad saying that you needed to visit a divorce attorney about who gets the rights to the kids. What kind of goes on there? I don't know. I don't know what gets in their head, but there is a lot of tension. It was a difficult, you know, it was time. An experience. An experience. It's not experience. It wasn't a vacation. That. It wasn't a trip. The whole thing was an experience. I'm not talking about experience or one trip. We're talking about the general relationship. How it, it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. Was that is that hard? Is that going to be hard watching it back? Um, you know, those fights that you had with your parents and things like that. Yeah, I think people forget we're human beings and things do affect us personally. So they affect us still. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure, but I'm sure everybody is loving having a, a, a granddaughter baby in the house. <laughs> yeah. We're nobodies now. That they like. Right. That they like. How did you come up with her name? Well, it was difficult. It was not oh, easy. Honey, this is all you. No, it, it was it was a name that we wanted to use in the past. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lauren said that it's not... Uh, I liked it better for a girl. She didn't want to use the name Ari for a boy. And I wanted that name for a boy. But it doesn't really work for a girl, just Ari. So we added Ariel, which is working perfect now. And shorten, it can be Ari. And Ariel's also my favorite Disney character of all time, so. Yeah. But she was not named after. No, no. 
all of our kids' names have meaning behind it, and it's also their their English name and their Hebrew name together. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you so much. Congratulations on your absolutely beautiful family and the upcoming season. I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Thank you. Good seeing you. Have a great holiday season, too. You, too. Thanks. Bye. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.